Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Real World Basics. Today we are continuing talking about job hunting and we are moving on to actually applying for a job. So how you apply for a job has evolved throughout the years. So today we're gonna to go over the modern ways to job hunt. So traditional ways of finding a job are getting dressed, hitting the pavement, um, going uh, to each location in person, asking if they're hiring, you bring a copy of your resume with you and you apply in person. Uh, many businesses have modernized and don't really do the traditional job application way anymore, but it is always a good uh, idea to ask in person if they're hiring and you can always apply in person if they are. A modern way of job hunting though is applying online through a job board site. So some places you can check are Craigslist, Indeed, Glassdoor, Monster, uh, you can check LinkedIn. If there's like one specific company you're interested in working for, you can check their like official website. They usually have um, a tab called uh, careers, employment, job opportunity, something in a similar phrasing that you can check out for job openings. If you're interested in, in working like for your local government, you can check out their municipal government website. Um, they'll also have a similar uh, job opportunities phrase tab. Now, if there is a specific field you're interested in working in or getting started in, if you find an organization uh, that supports that or your local organization, um, you, they usually have job specific job postings just for that one field. So profession specific organization websites are another good way to find a job that's in maybe like a really specific field. So once you read through those and you find a job posting that you like, you wanna go ahead and apply for it. So the first thing is don't be afraid if you don't meet all of the qualifications. Um, a lot of people see that there are all these requirements needed and maybe they don't feel like they're a confident applicant if they don't meet all of them. But I'm here to tell you, if you even just meet some of them, then shoot your shot. Um, even if you don't officially meet any of the requirements, you can still shoot your shot, but you need to tailor your application to show how you can meet the qualifications or how maybe you fulfill them through um, other more broad experience. The second tip is to keep a running master list of all of the jobs that you're applying for so you can keep track of them. Um, you can keep track of when applications are due, when you actually submit them, what the hiring manager's contact information is, and when you hear back from them, you can note that too. Because I've definitely um, lost track of, how, of jobs that I've applied for, and you take a phone call and you realize, oh, I actually have no idea who I was talking to, what this position is actually for and where they're located. So definitely keep a running list. So next and probably one of the most important things in applying for a job online is to read the posting carefully and follow the instructions. So not following the instructions listed will almost immediately get your application rejected. So this means submitting all of the requested documentation. Like if they ask for a cover letter, then submit a cover letter. Don't be lazy and not do it and think you'll be okay because they are evaluating you on how well you follow instructions. Um, this also means that if the job posting says no phone calls, then don't cold call about the position. Because again, if you can't follow instructions on the job posting, that doesn't give the employer a whole lot of confidence in you. So when you are applying, you want to tailor your resume and or cover letter uh, to match the job posting. So in last week's video, we talked about writing a resume. And now that we're actually applying for jobs, you're going to tailor your resume to the specific job you're applying for. So 
This means pulling out keywords and phrases from the job application and then incorporating them where appropriate into your resume and cover letter. Uh, this is partially to, you know, like show that you read the job posting and you do meet all of the requirements, but also uh, some hiring managers use like technology to read the resumes and they're looking for those uh, keywords. So that will highlight them if they use technology to uh, read all the resumes that are submitted to them, especially if they have like a high volume of applicants. You also want to remove any like non applicable or not relevant employment skills, certifications, um, or you need to reword them to emphasize more like widely applicable skills like customer service or technical skills. Uh, you also want to research the place of employment prior to writing a cover letter so you can add a little bit of knowledge to your writing and like truthfully say why you think you'd be a good fit for them. So doing research is really important on the place you're applying for. It'll also help you determine whether or not you really want to work for this place. Now, something else to know about the hiring process is they vary wildly in how long they take to complete. So sometimes you'll hear back the next day and sometimes it takes months. Usually smaller or independent businesses can move the process along quicker because it's a smaller team and there's not a lot of uh, corporate people, policies and procedures to navigate. Now, big corporations, uh, government agencies, and larger institutions are going to take longer because of that previously mentioned um, bureaucracy, and also because they have, uh, they may have to have a hiring window, or they have to wait to create a sufficient applicant pool before they can close the job posting and start reviewing applications. So, be on the lookout for a hiring window date on a job posting or uh, mention of an applicant pool um, and this isn't to deter you from applying but just so you can plan accordingly. So now that you've applied for a job or several you begin the waiting period. Uh, even if you are confident in your application or you saw your dream job posting already, don't stop checking out job postings or applying. A job offer is never official until you are in the office signing paperwork, so don't count your chickens before they hatch. So now that you've put yourself out there, you need to start preparing yourself for interviews. Next week's video will cover the basics of professional presentation and the necessities for preparing for a job interview. As always, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Manassas Park City Library if you have any questions about today's video or if you have any suggestions for topics you'd like to see covered in upcoming Real World Basics videos. I've included our library's information in the description box as well as some resources to go along with today's video for tailoring your resume and cover letter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.